Hello students, today we will derive an expression for loss in kinetic energy during a perfectly inelastic head on collision. We know that perfectly inelastic collision is that collision in which two bodies stick to one another after collision and move with common velocity. And head on collision is that collision in which two bodies are moving along a straight line path. So how to find out expression for loss of kinetic energy in perfectly inelastic head on collision. We also know that in inelastic collision kinetic energy is not conserved means total kinetic energy before collision is not equal to total kinetic energy after collision. Kinetic energy after collision is less than kinetic energy before collision because some part of kinetic energy is converted into other form of energies like sound energy, heat energy, etc. Consider a perfectly inelastic head-on collision of two bodies of masses m1 and m2 with respective initial velocities u1 and u2. As the collision is perfectly inelastic, they move jointly after the collision, that is their final velocity is the same, let it be v. So these are the two bodies, suppose two cars, they are having masses m1 and m2, mass of first car is m1, that of second car is m2, their initial velocities are u1 and u2. After some time, they collide and after collision, they move, with, they move with common velocity like this. Suppose their combined velocity is V. Now to find the loss of kinetic energy, according to conservation of linear momentum, we know total momentum before collision is equal to total momentum after collision. We know that. Momentum is always conserved in any type of collision, whether that is elastic or inelastic collision. Total momentum before collision is equal to total momentum after collision. So total momentum before collision will be m1 u1 plus m2 u2 is equal to and equal to total momentum after collision and total momentum after collision is m1 v1 plus m2 v2. But we know v1 and v2 that is equal to v. These velocities are equal after collision in perfectly inelastic collision. Therefore, we can write v1 equal to v2 equal to v say. Their velocity is common. Therefore, if v1 equal to v and v2 equal to v and we can take this v common, we get this step and from that we get expression for v. That is final velocity of two bodies after collision. He velocity upon kadun getli, karan aptala after collision chi kinetic energy kadai chi ahi, before chi kadai chi ahi, ani tachatla per kadai chi ahi. So we will use this relation to find the final kinetic energy. So we have derived these expressions. First of all, this is expression for final velocity after collision in perfectly inelastic collision. Now, loss in kinetic energy is equal to total initial kinetic energy minus total final kinetic energy. Loss means suppose initial kinetic energy was 1000 joule and kinetic energy after collision was 900 joule. So, 1000 minus 900 equal to 100 joule that energy is lost. That is loss in kinetic energy. So, total kinetic, total initial kinetic energy. We know formula for kinetic energy is half mv square. So, initial kinetic energy of first body will be half m1 u1 square because m1 is mass of first body, u1 is initial velocity of first body before collision plus kinetic energy of second body before collision will be half m2 u2 square minus total kinetic energy, final kinetic energy. So final kinetic energy will be half m1 v1 square 
in collision mass doesn't change mass remains same if m1 is the mass of first body before collision then it will remain constant after collision also its mass will be m1 but velocity changes initial velocity was u1 after collision it becomes v1 similarly for second body after collision kinetic energy is half m2 v2 square but we know this is a perfectly inelastic collision in which velocity is common velocities are not different v1 and v2 these velocities are not different that velocity is one and same therefore v1 is also v and v2 is also equal to v so we get this next step like this half m1 u1 square plus half m2 u2 square this first and second term as it is which is total kinetic energy of two bodies before collision minus half half is taken common so in bracket m1 v square plus m2 v square because after collision two bodies move together with common velocity which is v so v1 is equal to v and v2 is also equal to v now v square can be taken common we get this next step half m1 u1 square these two steps will remain as it is plus half m2 u2 square minus half m1 plus m2 and this v square is taken common that is half m1 u1 square plus half m2 u2 square minus half m1 plus m2 now this v we have derived that expression for velocity of two bodies together which is v given by this equation number one so keep the value of v from this equation one here in this equation so we get this step m1 u1 plus m2 u2 upon m1 plus m2 that is the value of v here from equation one and it's square because here it is v square now after simplifying if we solve this if we take the square of this bracket we simplify these steps we get after simplification we get this final expression for loss of kinetic energy which is m1 into m2 upon m1 plus m2 in second bracket u1 minus u2 bracket square this is equation number two so if you know masses of two bodies which remain constant during collision before collision and after collision these masses are same and if you know their velocities before collision u1 and u2 then by keeping values of m1 m2 u1 and u2 you can find out loss of kinetic energy provided that that collision is perfectly inelastic and that collision is head on collision if that collision is not perfectly elastic perfectly inelastic if that collision is not perfectly inelastic then you cannot use this formula because we have derived this formula on the assumption that v1 this v1 and v2 they are equal and is equal to v if this is not perfectly inelastic collision then v1 will not be equal to v2 and we will not get this relation and also we have derived this expression on the assumption that this is head on collision so in this way we have derived expression for loss of kinetic energy during perfectly inelastic head on collision thank you for watching